powerful than Jesus. The water, who is Jesus? The water is more powerful than Jesus. Okay, okay. The water can never bow. Even now, Jesus will bow for this water. Wow. Pass this message to everybody all over the world. We are here to touch lives and guide lives. Let native doctors in River Niger, you know, Nisha Bridge or whatever place they call it, they should not try Jesus Christ. Water powers, demons, marine spirits that operating under the platform of water can never, ever, you use it to compare the power of Jesus Christ. No matter the power, water spirit is, we command them and they obey. Marine spirit can never, you use it to compare the power of Jesus Christ. Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fofei is out to challenge water spirits, native doctors, river goddess and those of people that claim that they are worshipping deities and water spirits and rest of them. So some weeks ago, a popular Nollywood star, Junior Pope, died, who is from Enugu State, Ibuetiti local government, Ukehe precisely. So the young man was drowned in a river while shooting a movie. And ever since this man died, a lot of things have been going on on social media. A lot of people have been sharing their thoughts. And recently, a man that claimed that he served river goddess came out and started saying that you cannot bury a man that is drowned in water in his family house, that you must bury him or her by the river banks in order to appease the river goddess. And this man claimed that there is so much power in water that even if a pastor dies inside the water, that you dare not bury him in church cemetery or his father's house, that you must bury him near the river to appease the river goddess as she demands. And this man furthermore to say that, that even water has more power than Jesus Christ. Can you imagine? And this thing got the attention of popular prophets of God, Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fofein, the founder and the general overseer of Mercy City. And this man of God started attacking them, telling them that all power belongs to God. And the Bible says that God has given Jesus the power, that by the mention of his name, every knee shall bow and all tongues shall confess that he is the Lord. And this man was saying that even Jesus has no power against water, that the power of Jesus is lesser than that of water. That this water we are seeing is a kingdom just and you cannot defy you, its rules. But I was to just and this man of God is trying to explain to them that father. even if water right. is a kingdom, that Media the power of Jesus how the is young greater boy than talk the about water. The Fanta, so guys, this the man Fanta of God continued by warning them to that they should that desist from yeah, every please. act of trying to say that Jesus has no power or less they will face the wrath of God. And this man explained a lot of things to the congregation, telling them that this world we live in is very deep. So guys, let's just watch the video and if you are new to my channel and you can subscribe, don't forget to turn on the special bell icon for more videos. Just only one point I want to give you. But I would want to just key you onto why you need a spiritual father. All right, media play how the young boy talk about the Fanta, how the Fanta come about. Who asked him to use that Fanta? Oh yeah, play it. I know they like cross water. It gets where everybody know where from come. Before I cross water, they go observe them. I ain't say no. I say okay. Let me call my. My spiritual mom, I called my spiritual mom, she said, okay, no, see me, I go, say nothing. Say, if I finish, so far, say, if I finish, that's good, why I'm supposed to give water, people say, we can still come drink that for them. I said, okay, no problem. It reached the next day where I supposed to start, according to my spiritual mom, I bought Fanta. I used, um, I, when I got to the, to the place, I bought Fanta. And I, I have 10,000 with me, I spread out for the water. These small, small children wait on top of the water. The remaining 5K, we did, they until 200. I, that's what you do on top of the water. We, I entered the boat. I carry my Fanta while I buy. Pour for the boat. First thing when Junior Pope asked me to, what do they do? At least I said, they observe water people. I know they feel pass without sharing something. I don't give them Fanta. They don't no want any bad thing to happen to me. His spiritual father, he directed the I know water they like to, to buy Fanta. 
and he did it. Play it again. I know they like cross water. It gets where everybody know where he from come. Before I cross water, they go observe them. My aunt say no. I say okay. Let me call my my spiritual. My call my spiritual mom. She said okay. No, see me can go. See nothing. No. How powerful the water is. Me and you know that this water is more powerful that if water swallows somebody, you can't take the person to your home. Uh, the Bible says that uh, that by the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. The water will not bow to the name of Jesus, okay. and the water has never bowed. The water can never bow. Even now, Jesus will bow for this water. Exactly. I'm just telling the gospel truth. I mean, the water is, is more powerful than Jesus. The what? Who is Jesus? The water is more powerful than Jesus. Okay, continue. Because this is God's creature, okay. and this is a kingdom, okay. and God allowed the power to be. And if you want to, that's whenever we come to water to do sacrifice, this brainwashed religious mukus that doesn't know anything, you will think that there is nothing here, nothing is happening here. And I give you instance, if this water swallow a member of your church or your pastor, please don't bury the person here. Take the buried body to your home or to your church cemetery so that you have encounter with the water. Even the people listening, even you asking me question, you agree with me that this water, this particular water here, that they have never seen a man or a woman that this water swallow and they bury the person outside the water, outside the river. Yes. They must bury the person here. And it's the law. This law is not written in the Bible. Okay. It is not a law said by Moses. It's a law that this river said, if they swallow anybody, you must bury the person by the river bank. We are not here to just carry the microphone in order to, for joke. We are here to touch lives and guide lives. Now I come to that spiritual aspect. Before the young man enter into the boat, ask his master, Oga, we want to go to river. We want to go to river. River is not a place. place. What am I going to do? Then the spiritual father instructed him, guided him, guided him. Do like this, do like this, do like this. He said he don't know how to swim, according to him. Even one girl that who don't know how to swim, he saved her. He said, do you see the what he said? He used money to buy for 10,000 for the children sacrifice. That what I have been saying, time without number anytime I carry this microphone. What are your sacrifices when you come to the house of God? You cannot just come to die, die, die and go. In order to walk, listen to me carefully. There is a question that is going on right now in the social media. People say the native worker powers, the evil native, the deities that in the water are stronger than Jesus Christ. That is what is going on in the social media. Because two people, one girl that who just finished university, a makeup artist, she also be one of the victims and one young boy. Do you know that when they discover their corpse the following day, there's people in the village herein says the gods will not agree. They will bury the people right at the waterfront where they die. And they really bury them. The family people said, no way. Who are thou, those people that say, bury this one here and bury it? To appease the gods. For what? They said, if anyone comes like this, if not, another thing will happen to their families. And they bury them there. Pass this message to everybody all over the world. Water powers, demons, marine spirits that operating under the platform of water can never, ever, you use it to compare the power of Jesus Christ. Let me say it again. No matter the power, whether the river Niger, whether the river Benue, wherever river they come from, you cannot use it to compare, to compare the power that our Father Jesus Christ is carrying. People ask, People call apostles died in the water. When accident takes place like that in the water, why they die? And they are apostles. Let me tell you something. 
very very important there are people that God has given grace in order to command waters not everybody have right to command waters yes yeah, sir not not that water has no power they have powers principalities they are in the water then God has given grace that's why we have minor prophet we have major prophet Elisha control the water and the water obey yes, if the water has power more than the grace that they carry that means prophet can never ever open the water and gitter and tida. Moses also commanded water obeys so whatever thing that inside water God has given specific people in order to control water power has no rights to command or to control the children of God we have limits in order to operate especially major prophets major prophets they command water let me tell you something not all pastors apostles that have power to control water that does not mean that water spirit is stronger than Jesus Christ no matter the power water spirit is you cannot use to compare the name Jesus Christ we yes. command them and they obey is it not the Bible says once you mention his name powers on earth under the earth shall bow under the different there are some people that call into that there are some people who don't have that grace to command let native doctors in River Niger you know Nisha Bridge or whatever place they call it they should not try Jesus Christ in the book of Mark 4 38 they were crossing to the other side Jesus Christ was sleeping on a pillow while he was sleeping the water powers came in order to swallow them the same thing that happened we call accident we saw on the way coming Peter prayed John prayed as an apostle they call the name Jesus prayed it does not work they have to go back to their father that will carry the grace in order to stop the water spirit and when Jesus stood up he said who you whether you whether you like it wherever you come from I command you to be calm and still the Bible says immediately that's how the water obey yes, how can a man compare water spirit those small small spirit what our local spirit oh. to compare yes, sir. local spirit yes, sir. mommy water spirit yes, sir. to compare yes, sir. the God that who created the universe yes, sir. that is why I call him oh. he is the mini present yes, sir. oh mini science yes, sir. oh mini potent yes, sir. it is same yesterday yes, sir. and forever yes, sir. if God can save oh. the children of God yes, sir. right now in the waterfront oh. what about you yes, sir. he can save you yes, sir. What you going to do? Oh. Go to your master. Yes, sir. Go to your master. Your master. The time that when the water came, oh. they went to their master. Yes, sir. But they have no power yes, to control oh. the powers of the water. Yes, sir. I prophesy to you. No water or the river or the stream cannot swallow you and your children in Jesus' name. Amen.